Quit crying, fool, or we will gut you like a carp. My poor Finn, what have you done to her? <laughs> Who's there? Poor gal soldiers? I'm a real high. <laughs> Gone. She's gone. They took her away, my beautiful Fen, my flower of the fields. Please, my name is Hing, and you must help me. My Fen is so delicate, she will chafe under a bandit's yoke. These reeds hide so many thieves. You could walk right past the camp and not see it. There's no telling where they took your friend. Or my femme. I knew we were getting too close to the marshes. Why was I so foolish? Of course these thieves would strike at my beautiful femme. I can't leave without her. They'll work her to death or eat her or worse. Can you do anything, please? That is as much as I can ask, I suppose. Thank you. My precious flower of the fields, I can't leave without her. I am no common bandit. I've been hunted by far worse than you. This was a misunderstanding. I am no bandit. Stay on your guard if you want, but I have no desire to test your training. I passed through your village once or twice. I've seen your skill. My name is Zhu. I have been called Sagacious Zhu, if you prefer a title. It's a name I share with the First Emperor, Sagacious Tien. I meant nothing. It's just that I was trained fairly well, so I recognize when someone else is skilled. I see your point. There are differences. Tien was a knowledgeable man. Whereas I feel that a person can sometimes think too much. I don't believe I need to explain myself beyond that. That is a personal matter. You'll have to take my word that I'm above common robbery, if not many other things. Besides, I have already shown that I have no love for the more common kinds of filth roaming out here. If you know that name, you know they are not choosy about who they attack. Would a bandit stop to ask you why you were in the marsh? Gao the Lesser. 
I know the family. This is a brazen act even for them, but now I understand why their men are clearing a path through the marsh. No wonder you came out here as you did. You're looking to rescue someone. You probably gave no thought to your own safety. That is very selfless of you. I tend to think more... efficiently. I did hear something about a camp. They seem to be killing bandits so they won't be disturbed. There wasn't much more. I just wanted some peace and quiet. No, I'm not interested in looking for trouble. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. As bad as this is, you're better off without my help. Dawnstar. I am familiar with that name. But I still can't. I've spent a long time avoiding trouble. I don't want to go looking for it now. I'm sorry. Wait. Dawnstar, your friend should not suffer because of my reluctance. A group of men went to the north. They had a large pack that was giving them trouble. That may be where their camp is. There's no way to leave the marsh in that direction. Not on foot, anyway. I will show you. It is easy to get lost. I can refuse some fool determined to get lost in the swamp, but I doubt your friend earned her fate. Gal the Lesser shouldn't get such a prize without a fair fight. Now come, we have some catching up to do. We'll find them. Like I said, they can't get out in that direction. Not on foot. I do not blame you. There are times when I do not trust myself. But I will help you here today. Let's go. The main camp is to the north, but there are soldiers all around this area. If you want to find trouble, let's do it quickly. Your quarry has based himself in the north. There are paths right and left, but I doubt one is any safer than the other. Shouldn't killing outlaws yield some good silver? All I found is this troublesome creature, and she won't do a thing I say. Her last keeper trained her too well. If we can't get any work out of her, I want her cut and carved for tomorrow. If I have to be out here on Gao's little errand, at least I can be well fed. Look out! It must be more bandits! Get them! getting tired of catering to these fools. I thought I was saved when they killed the bandits that raided my husband's wagon, but these soldiers were no better. You have my gratitude. Flower of the Feet. King sent you here for his flower and did not even mention my name? Oh dear, this will be unpleasant for someone. I am Singwa. These animals made me cook for them, clean up their filth. And Hing sent you for the flower. I will kill him. No, but she is here. Oh yes, just over here. Let me present her to you. Fen, come! Fen, my flower! You are safe. I knew this great fighter would save you. I couldn't leave without you. The cart needs your strength to pull it. 
I am safe as well, Hing. Or did you forget I was missing? Oh, there you are, my dear. I'm glad you did not come to harm. But you are more concerned about the ox, I see. Are you another fool who values things over lives? Careful, or you may develop some unwholesome attachments. I prayed for your safe return, dear, but the cart will not move itself. You will be lucky if I don't make you pull it while the ox rides. She is clearly important enough. Come, leave any of our stolen silver as reward for our savior. I value my own life at least that much. Someone has to. Yes, dear. Do I have to slaughter that thing for you to show me some attention? No, dear. Are you lying again? No, dear. Are you listening to me? No, dear. It looks like the soldiers have taken control from the bandits who normally rule here. I'm not sure it's an improvement. Oh, useless Marsh! I'm sick of flushing up bandits just so we can chase down some farm girl. I'd rather burn these- Look! More bandits creeping into the camp! Get them! any more trouble. Yes, I can do that. Whatever you want. Who? The woman. She got loose from the sack and ran into the cave. Would have been safer out here with us. That cave is home to both toad demons and ogres, and both are in a foul temper from fighting over the space. Running in there is like moving from the claws to the fangs. We refused to go after her, so Gao went himself. I didn't plan any of it. I'm just an extra body watching for people like you following after. He brought a few groups of us. We didn't take her. We made Gao do that himself. I know we shouldn't have let him talk us into any of this, but he doubled our pay. It was just one woman. Compared to some things, well, all I'll say is that this wasn't the worst thing done by a cow lately. Look, that's all I can say. Just let me go. I won't be any more trouble for you. If I go back to Gao's father, I'll be killed as a failure. A reasonable punishment. Gao has some things right. By my grandfather. I won't get in your way again, I swear. No, no! I told you all I could!
be sorry. It's always someone else's fault, isn't it, Gao? This is your mess. I didn't make you kidnap me. Your friend is doing a good job of frustrating Gao into carelessness. That will work in your favor, but it also means we have to follow them by a different route. Be careful. That means fresh enemies for us. These caves harbor strange creatures. cause to enter these caves. Gao will have to pay for this inconvenience. Swear, Don Star, my patience is running thin. No! No! Not you! Anyone but you! What are you doing here? It seems Gao doesn't think much about anything. <laughs> I understand more than you. I did you a favor, but you are too stupid to know a good thing when you're in its grasp. Being kidnapped was a good thing? You have an odd view of what it takes to impress a woman. Fools! You'd be dead if it wasn't for me. Everything you have is gone. My father has seen to that. You'll see. Death comes from above to ferret out your hidden master and his real name. Dunstar was the only thing I wanted to save, and what thanks do I get? Nothing. So be it. I'll just kill you all and forget your pitiful little village ever existed. Then fight, and we'll see who's better outside your pretty school. Even if you win, you've lost elsewhere. Good. There's no Master Lee to restrict how I fight. I'll kill you in time to see the red sky over your village. Come <laughs> on. 
Kreski. I'm not sure why Gal thought he would get away with this. He had to know that someone in the village would come for me, although I suspected it would be you. I am grateful. Your friendship has always been a comfort to me. Maybe that was what made Gal so jealous. I don't know. And who is this? I must thank your new acquaintance for his help as well. Sagacious Sue. You don't owe me anything. I just helped your young friend through the swamp. Sagacious Sue. Well, I am grateful. I don't know what Gal meant by saying he was doing me a favor. How could dragging me here be beneficial? It's very cold of you, but I suppose he deserved what he got. It's sad, really. Master Lee tried so hard to reach him. Gao just seemed to get more and more bitter. He didn't respond well to discipline. It's too bad. Yes, I want to get back to Two Rivers as soon as possible. What happened to Gao's men? I thought they abandoned him, but it looks like you had to fight them all. I didn't realize you took that much of a risk getting to me. Thank you. You weren't always so cold. I guess it helped you here. I heard Gao tell his men to attack anyone who approached. His mercenaries didn't seem too eager to follow me into the cave, though. It seemed like they were humoring him. Maybe they were his father's men. I don't... Wait. Do you hear something? There are so many. Where are they coming from? You should be more concerned with where they are going. You may have won a victory over Gal the Lesser, but it looks like he put things in motion that have outlived him. What? What do you mean? These machines have weapons. They drop casks that explode on impact. There will be soldiers on the ground as well. Was... was that what Gal meant? He said something about death coming from above for Master Lee. It doesn't matter. We have to get back. The students, everyone will need our help. Walk away, Dawnstar. You won't get there in time. Better to avert your eyes than see something you care about fall to ruin. Save yourself the pain. This machine of Gauss, do you know how to make it work? Could you fly it? I doubt there are two people in the Empire that know how they work. It's a baffling combination of magic and artifice. We may be able to do it among the three of us. I was told that they are simple to control. So you don't really know? If you actually cared about the safety of this machine, you wouldn't be about to fly it into a swarm of enemies. What guarantee do you want? There is a handle attached to something like the reins of an ox yoke. You move it left and right, forward and back. It should swim through the air fairly smoothly. Will you come to help us, Zoo? You seem to have a good heart. If you are intent on returning, I will accompany you. I have already done more than I wanted, but I could not avoid this forever. You are an interesting person, Sagacious Sue. Your eyes hold a great sadness that is oddly familiar to me, but I don't know why. Agreed. There are greater things to worry about. I hope we are not too late. <laughs> 